So someone reached out to me recently asking me if I could teach them how to mix using their smartphone. And at first I was a bit, I felt like it's impossible. And I decided to share it on my Instagram story, did a poll, and a lot of people felt it was possible. So I felt, okay, let me take up the challenge and see if I could actually get something decent with my smartphone mixing vocals. And so that's why I'm making this video to see if I can get anything usable that I feel it's of good quality or at least good standard compared to commercial mixes. So let's get started with today's tutorial. First of all, create a new project, okay? MT, and our tempo for this song is uh, 989 BPM. In FL Studio Mobile, it's not really showing me an option to type in 89 BPM or to get it close to 89 or 90 BPM, but let's stick to 80 BPM. So we're going to import our tracks and to import your tracks is really easy. We're going to come he here, this top corner right here. We're going to come to imports, okay? It's going to take you into your folder on your phone. And we're going to come to audio. And then we're going to select, let's Vox 1 first of all. It's been added, then import again, then Vox 2 now. It's already imported, but now it doesn't go, it's not going to take you straight into your playlist like you normally would on FL Studio's main um, device. So what we'll just do, we're going to come into um, this plus icon right here, right? Then we're going to imp um, add audio clip. Then we're going to go to my files at the top corner. Then we're going to come to my samples. Then you can see we have our samples right here. So that's the beat is already added. So let's add audio clip now for the beats. So you can see it's been added, right? And you can actually move this around. But when you click it and hold on it, you can actually move it around our beats and our vocal. I need you. I want you kicking hard to cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. Now, the first we're going to do is gain stage. Okay, I'm going to open the mic by clicking the bottom left, right? You can see audio, um, master audio one, audio three, audio four, audio five. All right. So when I play, you can see. I can turn off the vocal. Can turn off the beat. So I want to create a little bit of headroom, but I'm going to take this down. All right. Well, I can actually edit the tempo now. So this is up to 89 BPM. Okay, I think we can go with this for now. So now let's start some by adding some processes to the vocal so this is the vocal i want to start by tuning the vocal so we're going to use picture and we're going to select the key the key for this is e flat minor which is d sharp minor all right then we're going to play and listen adjust the speed Listen again. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, kicking hard to you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you, see, I need you. See, you love me, can't can hurt you. So, my baby, be my wife. So, my baby, be change it to my left and right for better pitch referencing. Well, the tuning is not perfect, but it's, it's it's much better than it is sounding raw. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, taking hard to you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you, see, I need you. See, you love me, can't can All right, so now let's add the next processing, which is um, EQ. Let's see how, let's see um, parametric EQ. 
All right, so this is split into different bands, the low bands, low mid, high mid, and um, high frequency, okay? So let's tune it, let's say about, let's say 100 heads, okay? And then the gain, we're going to sweep everything below 100 heads. Take it out completely. And if you notice, you can see the bandwidth, okay? And also you can see the type, if it's low shelf, peak, high shelf. So we want low shelf and then the bandwidth so that it just kind of, you know, have this curve and just clears everything before it. Let's listen. All right, so let's come to the mid band. Now let's look for some resonance frequency. All right, so we're going to tune this. Looking for some resonance frequency. And then we to play it and listen. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, kicking hearts you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you, see, I need you. See, you love me, can't can hurt you. So my baby be my wife. So my baby be my wife. Girl, I love you and you love me. Let's say about 3 dB. See, don't let me fall. See, girl, I love you when you love me too. Can I hold you when you hold me too? Don't let me fall. Then we'll do the same thing here. Need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me. Can't can hurt you. So, my baby, be my wife. See my baby be my wife Girl, I love you when you love me too Can I hold you when you hold me too? Don't let me to fall See, don't let me to fall Alright, let's listen again Need you in my Let's listen a bit of issues in the low frequency, okay? Let's see what's wrong there Need you in my life All right, then let's come to the high frequency. Need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me. Can, can hurt you. So, my baby, be this my This is going to add some shine. So my baby, be I'll make it sound wife. a bit duller. Girl, I love you when you love me too. Can I hold you when you hold me Let's too. add a little Don't bit of shine. All right. Don't let me to fall. So now what we're going to do again stage A because we can notice the drop in the loudness level. All right. So let's come to the mixer again. Let's take it here again so we can. So let's add some compression on the lead vocal. Um, we're going to select the lead vocal, then come right here again, then compressor, then we're going to threshold. Yeah, then ratio, take it to about, about four, ratio one, All right? Then once a very fast attack, okay? Let's say about six milliseconds. I think the release is fine. Then let's hear and see how it sounds. Love you, I need you. Let's turn down the levels. In my life, I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me, can can hurt you. So my baby be my wife. Let's again stage again some more. Life. So my baby be my wife. Girl, I love you. When you love me too, can I hold you? When you hold me too, don't let me to fall. See, don't let me to fall. It's time for us to use reverb. So for our reverb, right? This is the settings we're going to be using. Um, the large hall 
the large room presets, right? That is 42 milliseconds for the pre-delay and then 2.6 seconds for decay. So let's go into FL Studio and then try to dial it in. I'm going to click on, on this, come to our inserts with our um, reverb effects. We can see, we can also see the pre-delay right here, right? Which says 42 milliseconds. Let's see if we can get 42. Yeah, we can. Then pre-delay is um, 2.6 seconds. 2.6 seconds. All right, so let's see how it sounds. Loved you, I need you. See, I want you, kicking hot. All right, so now we're going to reduce the wetness. All right, so let's say about 13%. Because I need you in my life. I need you. Now we're going to affect the range where the reverb needs to work. That is the frequency range. So we're going to cut it from, let's say, um, 500 hertz, okay? From about 500 hertz to about, let's say, 3.5. In my life, I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me. Can't, can't hurt you. So my baby. So the high damp, you want to damp it. I feel like it's too bright. So we want to reduce the damp. Okay. Be, be my wife, so my baby, be my wife. Girl, I love you and you love me too. Can I hold you and you hold? Then reduce the bass. We don't want much bass, okay? And then let's see. Let's listen now. Me too, don't let me to fall. See, don't let me to fall. See, girl, I love you and you love me too. Can I hold you and you hold me too? Don't let me. To all right, so the next thing we're going to add is um, delay, okay? We're going to use a delay plugin to fill up some of the empty space that we're here. Let's use a tape delay. And so, let's use, we can actually set the timing, still from the rep calculator we used earlier. We can still set the timing. And for the timing, we're going to use um, 674. Let's, this is close as we can get, all right? Then let's listen and see. I need you, do you love me? Can, can hurt you, so my baby be my wife. So my baby be my wife. Girl, I love you and you love me too. Can I hold you when you hold me too? Don't let me to fall. I think I prefer this um, delay to be just above the um reverb so let's see if i can move it up and start move up yeah so let's say I sound don't right. let me to fall see girl i love you and you love me too can i hold you and you hold me too don't let me fall. let's add a multi-band compressor to take care of some problems i can still hear in the low end right so let's just Take some of it down. If I love you, see I need you. Do you love me? Can can hurt you. So my baby be my wife. So my baby be my wife. Alright, let's open up the mixer again. Hold you and you hold me to don't let me to fall. See, don't let me to fall, don't let me to fall. So my experience with mixing vocals in I've so my experience with mixing vocals in FL Studio is I think you need a high-end smartphone to be able to do anything worthwhile because this was just a single vocal and a single bit and it was already distorting and lagging behind. So I think you're going to need a high-end Android device to get this done. And also the interface, it's, it, I know it's a smartphone, but I feel like there's a way I could actually dial in more details because I have maybe a couple of big fingers, but still I feel there's, and this is even a tab, not even a regular smartphone. So I feel like there should be a way I, I could manually input the numbers I want, like maybe the reverb, the delay, and all of that without spending so much time trying to scroll to get the perfect number, right? Or if maybe you can connect a Bluetooth mouse, you can maybe it be easier for you, okay? And also, I don't think the quality of processing is there yet in FL Studio Mobile. The EQ, the reverb, the way the reverb sounds, the way the EQ works, it's also... It's still a bit, I know this is a mobile phone and I should not compare it to a full desktop app, but 
I feel there's lots of work there to be done. And the overall use case, I think if maybe you're trying to pull out a decent quality cover song, okay, without just holding up your phone and recording yourself, I think you get a much better quality if you record maybe with a lapel mic or a USB mic in, into it while the beat plays with a headphone playing, you can, you can get that done, okay? Maybe I'm just not used to it because this is like, I've spent just about 48 hours on, on this trying to understand it. But um, from what I've heard, the way the presets work, the effects work, I don't think it's anywhere close to the main desktop version. So I would not recommend you use the app for anything strange. But if you're just trying to pull off a simple cover for TikTok, um, YouTube, um, Instagram, nothing serious, just a, a fun cover, you can surely get away with this ball. A proper project needs proper investment. Invest in a PC, invest in headphones, audio interface, and an affordable microphone will be much more better off. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also hit the subscribe button down below for more tips and tricks so you'll be up to date. See you soon. Cheers.